welcome back to the Crochet Cakes YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to pick up the stitches for the neckline of this sweater. Previously, I had made a shaping the neckline tutorial and that was ages ago, so I thought it was time to give you an updated one with more information. So let's head on over and pick up the stitches for the neckline of the monthly sweater together. Oh, also, in case you want to make this a sweater, the pattern will be on its way to you soon, possibly next week. So stay tuned. I'm going to be releasing a video tutorial for that as well as a written pattern at no cost to you and a PDF that you can purchase. So all that will be making its way to you next week. For now, let's head on over to the Clarissa of the past and let's pick up the stitches for this neckline together. So sometimes when we are working a garment pattern, the instructions will have us pick up stitches to crochet a neckline. And that is typically because when we look at our neckline, we're going to have a raw edges either on the shoulder area or on the neckline itself depending what method you use to crochet your garment. Um, typically you will find this in bottom-up crochet garments that you you know seamed or modular crochet garments or even some top-down crochet garments. So today I thought I would give an updated video tutorial on how I pick up stitches for the neckline. Some things you need to know before we get started um, read your pattern of course because some patterns will sometimes have you use a smaller hook size to pick up stitches around the neckline in today's case i'm going to be using the same hook size i've been using to crochet my garment which is a six millimeter crochet hook and i'm also going to be using the same yarn which um is a worsted weight cotton acrylic blend some other things to keep in mind you usually want to pick up your stitches for the neckline on the right with the right side facing. So what I mean by that is that it's the part of the garment that people will see, okay? So inside we would typically have our seams and we would have woven in our ends and the outside is let's say the prettier side of the garment. Another thing that we are going to do is that we're going to locate our mid back and this is where we're going to pick up our stitches. Before we start picking up stitches to crochet a neckline, let's talk about stitches. Why? Well, because the number of stitches you're gonna work into a row, as you see here, this is a row because I worked my garment vertically instead of horizontally, depends on the crochet stitch that you used. So for example, if you used a single crochet or single crochet back loop only, then you would pick up one stitch per row. But if you used a double crochet stitch, um, you might pick up two stitches per row. And if you used a half double crochet stitch, you might alternate between picking up one stitch um, per row or two stitches per row. It's really going to depend on how you see your neckline reacting. What I mean by that is if you see it gaping, then you definitely put into much stitches and if you see it and if you see it curving inwards more than you would like then you put in too many now in today's case i'm using extended single crochet um, so i think i'm going to alternate between picking up one stitch per row and then two stitches per row maybe every three stitches the other thing i want to mention before we get started is that Usually when you're working a neckline, you'll have what I call the shoulder points. And this is the back of your, uh, in this case, left shoulder, the back of your right shoulder, the front of your left shoulder and the back of, and the front of your right shoulder, sorry. So in these four points, I like to do a decrease to kind of curve my work and make a more rounded neckline. So those are the things that I just wanted to go over before we get started. Also, please check your written pattern as it might state the number of stitches that need to be picked up. In the sweater that I'm using here, the monthly sweater, the pattern will be out soon. The instructions state to pick up 54 stitches. So to get started, I'm locating my mid back. I helpfully had a stitch marker right there. And I'm just going to be sticking my crochet hook, picking up yarn, 
and then chaining one to secure. Now, where I've joined yarn, I'm going to be doing an ex a single crochet. Now, this is the other thing you might want to keep in mind. I like to pick up stitches for the neckline with single crochets, but you don't have to. You can pick them up with slip stitches as well, okay? Um, I just like to pick them up with either cro single crochets or slip stitches because they are the shortest of crochet stitches, and I don't really want to add height right now. I just want to have a place to crochet from. So, we're working on what used to be the side edge for this garment. I am simply going to insert my hook into the edge and complete my slip stitch. So inserting the hook into the edge and completing my slip stitches. The place where I'm placing my slip stitches and my single crochet if I choose to do them is exactly the same. So we're just inserting the hook into the space of the side edge pick up this loop, pick up the other post essentially because we are working into rows and then I just slip stitch those two together. Now in the case of vertical crochet, what's in the shoulder area is actually going to be stitches. So then we would just do one slip stitch per stitch. Okay, so that's how picking up the stitches with slip stitches would look like. And then when you come back around, you would simply quite literally crochet into these slip stitches. Um, but as I said, I prefer doing single crochets, especially because I think I'm actually gonna knit this neckline after I pick up stitches, so okay. So for single crochets, it's the same thing. You would, um, I just did two single crochets, so now I'm gonna pick up two for one stitch. And how many you're picking up also is really going to depend how well you know your stitch. As I said, the extended single crochet stitch, I know that it's somewhere between a, in height, between a half double crochet and a double crochet. So that's why I, every two stitches, I'm picking up two. But you don't have to do that. You can experiment and see what you like. And now I'm going to so now I'm going to work a decrease over this big gaping space and my next uh, row, just a normal single crochet decrease. And that brings that gaping stitch to a bit of a close and also rounds off. And as I said, for The problem with doing garment tutorials is that you have so much material that it's hard to shuffle. When you're working into the stitches, as I'm going to be doing here, then it's just literally doing one single crochet or slip stitch into every stitch. This is not, you don't have to second guess yourself here. And now I'm in another corner. So actually I'm gonna frog that back and I'm in another corner. This would be the left front corner. So again, I'm gonna do a single crochet decrease. And this is how I like to shape my necklines because usually in these spaces, you will have huge gaps like this one. And I just try to minimize that gap by um, well, number one, using my tail to kind of seam it a little bit 
tighter, but also by doing a decrease into those corners. Okay, and so just to review, when we pick up our stitches, I'm going around the entirety of the stitch and doing my single crochet. So again, I look at my stitch and I'm going around the entire thing and I'm doing my single crochets. Um, now I'm gonna pick up two single crochets. What we're kind of doing is trying to evenly space our picked up stitches so that we don't really have huge gaps in our neckline. And in order to do that, uh, you might need to decrease in some areas or do a little math to have the exact number of stitches that you need to go around the neckline based on your gauge. If you are looking for neckline measurements, you can refer to some online sources or the Craft Yarn Council. To reiterate, we are working our single crochets along the side edge. We're inserting our hook and treating this side edge as if it were a stitch. Sometimes, like as I said, I'm working two, and most of the time I'm really just working one. The neckline is just kind of one of those things that's really intuitive so like I said you would watch out for whether or not it's scaping or it's shrinking too much and definitely try it on once you complete the first round of shaping So again, here is another corner, so I'm going to do a decrease here, just a normal single crochet decrease, okay, leaving my tail because I'm actually going to use the tail later to just seam this a little nicer. And now I'm going to be doing a single crochet in each stitch. completely picked up stitches around the neckline it is time to join with a slip stitch to close our round now you may leave the neckline as is or read your pattern it might suggest that you do three rounds of single crochet to complete the neckline of course you could also do a front post back post double crochet rib if you so desire I will leave a link to the I card above where you can find a tutorial and of course you could also choose to do what I did which is to knit a rib and for this I just picked up stitches using DPNs and knit a one by one rib. There are many options available to you. Choose the one that you like best. 
Thank you for joining me for today's video tutorial on how to pick up stitches for a neckline in crochet. I hope that I have helped you on your garment making journey and at the very least demystified a little bit of garment construction. If making crochet garments is something that interests you then please check out the Crochet Cakes YouTube channel as well as the Crochet Cakes website where you will find many a garment to keep you entertained. Until we see each other again, happy crafting!